Welcome to the first video in the Animation Paths Part 1 video series, Animating a Layer. I know that many of you are very anxious to start animating, but the next two packs are going to be devoted to teaching you how to create animation paths, and these are sort of a precursor to actually animating in the software. So to begin, I'm going to talk to you about the animate mode. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to animate the door. So I'm just going to um, disable the Karate Rabbit and the Punching Bag from view so that we can get a better look at the door. And I'm actually going to zoom in to the door. So with the Animate Mode turned on, any transformation that you make with the Transform tool will get recorded on the frame that you're on. However, if you turn this off and make a transformation, any movements that you make in the camera view will be applied to the entire layer. And I just realized here that um, all of my layers only go for one frame. So what I'm going to do is extend all of my layers. I'm just going to turn these back on. Let's have them go for 60 frames. Oh, right. I can't use the keyboard shortcut F5, um, as you see here, because it turns off my video recording software. So I'm just going to say extend exposure. Um, and now all of my exposures have been extended. We'll turn these off again. So I'll give you an example. So let's uh, let's find the door. So I'm going to select it here in the camera view, and I'm going to bring up my timeline view toolbar again. So go to Windows toolbars, timeline view, and then I'm going to hit the center on selection, so it brings up where my door is. So if I'm somewhere in the middle here of the timeline, and this animate mode is off, so it doesn't have that gray depressed looking. Um, area around it. And then I'm going to make a move with it such as closing the door completely. And in fact I'm going to make it slightly bigger so you don't see any of the sky color around it. And then I click on my red playhead here and I move it across all the cells. You'll notice that this move is permanent so there's no keyframe and it doesn't just move from the place it used to be to this current position, it's actually in this current position for all the frames. However, if I do want a keyframed and interpolated movement, what I can do is I can select a spot that I want, let's say frame 30 for example, I can put on the animate mode and then I can slide this door to a new position. And I'm wobbling a bit here, so I might be actually moving the Ys as, as well as the X. So that's when it comes in handy to use um, parts of the data view, for example, where if you want to be sure that you're just using the X position and not the Y position. So I can undo that and then just move along the X position here. So we know for sure it hasn't moved anywhere on the Y. So now you can see that there's actually a keyframe actually that appeared on frame 30, this one was always here, and that there's an arrow showing you that there's some type of interpolation between the position that was at frame 1 and the position that is at frame 30. If you slide your, your playhead across, you'll see that it's the door sliding open. And instead of just moving your playhead back and forth, there's actually a way to do a playback. Um, the fastest and easiest way is by clicking on this blue button here. So I'm just going to set my playhead back at frame 1 and click this, and you'll see the door slide open. There are other ways to do playbacks as well. You can see a playback in the top view, the side view, and the perspective view. So to see the same animation occur in the top view, you just have to go to Play, Enable Playback, Top View. Uh, and I have to have my, my red playhead set at 1 before I do that. And then when you click on the play button, you could see it here. You saw the movement. Let me zoom in. Let's do that one more time. And so we see it sliding along there. And you can do the same for the perspective view. So maybe let's do that here. And let's do a simple rotation. So maybe let's look at it from behind. So here's the door here. If we go play, enable playback, perspective view, 
and then we do the play. You can also see it here in the perspective view. Of course, you can also do that for the side view, though I don't think you would see anything because what you'd be seeing in the side view is this. So it would appear as if it's in the same spot, even though it's sliding towards you. Um, I'll show you what I mean. So I believe our door is right here. And I can enable the playback, but I don't think you're going to see much. So side view, and then we press the play button. So you can see it moving slightly there, but it doesn't look like it's moving at all here. So you have to judge which the best view to look at your playback from, depending on what you need to see. So that's it for the tutorial animating a layer. Stay tuned for the next tutorial all about pegs.